<laughs> oh, hi there. Just kidding. I'm not a pirate, but I think you already knew that. <laughs> uh, wondering the best ways to make gold. You see all your friends, all these people making so much gold, and you're wondering, how the hell are they making so much gold? Well, with this guide, I will teach you not only how to make gold on your server, but all servers that you are on. This guide is strictly for classic and classic TBC and not for retail. Please, before you continue watching, leave a like and subscribe. The more subscribers motivates me to make more content for y'all. And I hope you enjoy the video. Bye. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents. So I'm about to teach you how you can make your mailbox look like that. Now, what is a GDKP? Well, a GDKP is typically hosted by a guild or a person that is the loot master and basically you bid on the loot and whoever has the highest bid wins that loot. Now, here's the good thing about a GDKP. You're like, how, how can I make gold from this? That sounds like I'm losing gold. Well, if you don't bid in the GDKP, they actually distribute all the gold to everybody between like 10 people, maybe 25 people, depending on how big the rate is. They'll divide all that gold and divvy it up to person. They're like, well, that doesn't sound worth my time. Well, what if I told you you can make about 300 to 500 to 1,000 gold, depending how much you're bidding at one of these GDKPs? It's not bad when you think about it, right? Because you're making gold and you're doing, dun you're doing dungeons and raids. Just uh, food for thought. All right, now, studying the auction house. This is I feel like this is a huge thing that players miss in the game and they overlook, but it's important to go into your uh, server's auction house and look what's up for sale. What it, What is the best thing that you can farm? Cloth or herbs or shit, even stuff from dungeons. You just got to look. Maybe enchant enchanters make a lot of gold, for instance. Enchanters make a lot of gold on my server just for enchanting mats. We don't have that many enchanters on our uh, server, and they charge about a 1,000 gold for an enchant. I mean, you can make some good money, all right? You can make some good money. As long as you're an enchanter, um, you, you can sell all your mats, and you can get a decent chunk of your change back. So, you want to make gold doing gold farms such as dungeons? Well, this is it right here. Exactly what I'm doing. Just pull all the mobs you can as a frost mage and then just blizzard the living shit out of them. I'm about to post some talents right here to show you how to the correct setup and how much gold you can make as a mage or a pally tank. Now, your inventory can look like this with that much gold. But just remember to have fun with the game. And so you can make this much gold. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and bye! Are we going here? Yeah, that's darkness.